What two words create more fear and even panic in audiences and organizations than any other two words in the presentation world? The answer to that question will be found in your next several daily doses of public speaking wisdom. As you may have guessed from my opening question, the two scariest words in the presentation world are PowerPoint. In some cases, it's one word. I've seen it spelled both ways, irrespective. It's scary. PowerPoint has gotten a bad name in the last 20 to 30 years. It was originally designed to be a supplement to presentations, and somewhere along the way, it became the presentation itself. As a result, tens if not hundreds of millions of audience participants have suffered since. In the next several videos, I want to address a key question. Why should we use PowerPoint, or in some cases, why shouldn't we use it? I will confess, for at least 20 years, I was a huge anti-PowerPoint person. Couldn't stand it. Number one, because I'd sat in too many audiences myself and been bored to tears. And secondly, I realized as a coach and a speaker that a lot of speakers were hurting their own credibility and their impact by hiding behind slides. In the last five years, my attitude about PowerPoint and similar presentation tools has changed slightly. I believe it is an important tool, it can be, because we are visual creatures. Most people, in the, at least in the United States, if not the Western world, have also been raised on television screens or computer screens or now mobile devices. We're used to looking at pictures and videos. I tell you this because I've begun to use slides in some of my presentations. Not too many though. What I want to give you in these next several videos is some insight into what I've learned from leading presenters and also brain scientists. One of the past presidents of the National Speakers Association was also a brain scientist and I learned some important ideas from him that really began to turn my opinion around on using slides, videos, etc. That's what we'll be covering in the next several videos. So for this one, I want to leave you with what I call my golden rule of PowerPoint. And that is this, never create a PowerPoint before you write your presentation. The presentation should come first and the PowerPoint should supplement it. I've lost count of how many people I've sat down with who said, can you please help me put my presentation together? I've created my PowerPoint deck. Er, <laughs> that's a mistake. Never do that, and you'll understand why when we get through these videos. There's a caveat, as there is with any tip that I give you, and that is sometimes you are asked by your boss or an organization or even a group that hires you to speak to use their slides. Sometimes you've got to do it. There are ways you can manage that. But the cardinal rule in most cases, never create your PowerPoint deck or slides until you've created your presentation and you know your main message. We'll talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.